Radar was initially developed to detect objects we might not otherwise see. And for the past 60 years or so, it's played a major role in keeping our waterways safe. But over that journey, it's also been big, expensive, and mainly used by the shipping industry. But as with all technology, its role has expanded over time. Today, it's used for navigation, monitoring weather, and even for fishing. And it's in these areas that we've seen the most notable advances. One of the most significant of these is the development of the SimRed Halo Solid State Pulse Compression Radar. It's a project that's taken 10 years and $15 million to complete. But the end story is we have a radar system that's compact enough to use on fishing boats and on small cruisers. And it's also easier to use, quicker, quieter and safer than any radar system we've seen before. Today we've joined the boys from High Tech Marine on this beautiful Caribbean 40. And we're going to go and have a play with this exciting new technology. And it's something I'm really looking forward to. But rather than me tell you all about it, we've invited Steve Burney from Simrad along. He's not only going to show us what it can do, but how easy it is to use. So today we're running a dual NSO system with dual screens. And within that we've got the Halo radar connected. Um, so what the unique feature of that is, is it gives us independent radar on, on both, both sides of the split screen. So on here I've got short range performance, showing me the harbour and surrounding area. And this one I've got long range, so I can track targets further out. And I've got a, a target showing on here, uh, and that I can see is 14 nautical miles away from where I am here. I look up onto my top screen here, onto the NSO in a full screen overlay mode and I can see that it's Rottnest Island that's coming up on the chart there. So I know exactly what that target is and I understand it straight away. Simrad prides itself on being easy to use and it, it's a user-friendly experience. So what we, what we offer within the Halo Radar is a, some preset software options. So we have a harbour mode, and harbour mode's obviously, we're sitting in Hillary's Boat Harbour now, so we're in harbour, and that separates all the pontoons and helps take out the clutter from the, the vessels around us, giving you a really clear picture. We then, as soon as we start going out today, we'll switch to an offshore mode, and that changes the whole way the game settings and everything works within the radar. Preset, and it will give you better performance when you're out on the water, so you'll, you'll see better targets and it will track vessels better offshore. We then have a weather mode, so the weather mode's for storm tracking, so you can track storm cells, that you can look at Rottnest Island and see if the, the weather is, is good there, or see which direction a storm cell's tracking from, so very useful mode. And then we have uh, sport fisherman's favourite mode is the, is the bird mode, so when we're out there looking for fish, possible spots to, to go and run our lures, we look at a, a bird mode so we can see working birds, and that works up to about sort of six nautical miles, so we'll be able to track three or four birds at that sort of range. So yeah, some, some nice user features in there. Well, we're sitting here in the Hillary's Marina in the northern suburbs of Perth. So if we set the harbour function, what are we going to see on the screen? Well, what the, the harbour mode does, I've, I've got it actually running in harbour here on the screen. So what it does is it, it cleans up all the interference. You get a lot of noise and a lot of returns. Obviously, you've got a lot of masts, a lot of other vessels in the marina and just takes out that noise and allows you to see the, the clearer image on the screen. Now to really get an idea of what this is, I'm just going to get you to look up here and we have the, the radar overlay on top of the chart. So this is the normal chart that we use to, to navigate around, this is a Navionics chart. And we have all the, the image showing on top of the screen, so I find that's the best way to understand the radar and really get an idea of of what it's telling us. There's, there's other modes as well, it's not just that. So as soon as we go out of the harbour today, we'll switch to an offshore mode. And that again, that knows there's not that amount of clutter. So it, it opens up and the performance becomes better in a long range and it's, it's looking. So you don't have to set all those modes manually. You don't have to adjust the gain, you don't have to tweak it up, it's all auto set. And those presets are, are tuned by our engineers to be yeah, best in class. So. So as luck would have it, there's two kayakers just coming past us below and we're picking them up on the Halo radar. We can see two targets moving behind us, coming through, we've even got tracks on them and yeah, you can see them really well and you can just see them moving across the screen. Okay, so we've just moved offshore now, we've come out of Hillary's and we've, we've moved into an offshore working mode. Um, what we're doing now is we're demonstrating the MARPA target functionality. MARPA allows you to track targets, tra track other vessels 
and it allows you to see how fast they're moving and if they're a dangerous target to you, so if they're heading towards you. So basically what you do is you drop the cursor on top of each, each vessel that's around the area and then it gives you a marper list coming up on the right hand side of your screen. Now if any of those targets become dangerous and their heading moves to your heading, this will come up with a danger warning. Um, if not, it will just work in a safe mode. So you can track up to 10 vessels at any time uh, in the offshore mode. So. so one of the Halo features and functions is the bird mode. So we're out on the open ocean now. We're, we're looking to track birds so we can know where to run our lures and, and where to catch sport fish. So we're, uh, we're gonna switch this unit over. We've got uh, an, an adjustment setting. We're in offshore mode because we've gone offshore and now we're gonna go to a bird mode. So that just adjusts the sensitivity so it becomes really sensitive to, to smaller targets and we're specifically looking for birds now. So yeah, we're, we're searching the ocean looking within six nautical miles to see if there's any here and then if there is, we're going. The Halo Radar certainly is a good bit of kit and it was surprisingly easy to use as well. So if you're a serious sports fisherman or you just love blue water cruising, it's going to make planning your next trip a whole lot easier. And with the ability to monitor both nearby collision hazards and far away weather cells, it's going to make it a whole lot safer as well.